Now for this next example, we're going to be working with factorial. Now factorial notation is given by this no mathematical notation, the exclamation point, and it's basically telling you that if n is a positive integer, then n factorial is equal to 1 times 2 times 3 all the way through n minus 1 times n. Now to use this formula in our specific examples of some numbers with factorial notation. For number one, zero factorial is equal to one. That's one of the properties of factorial that you need to remember, that zero factorial is actually equal to one. It's like a number raised to an exponent is not equal to zero, it's equal to one. So not all zero will give you zero, and in factorial notation, zero factorial is equal to one. Now for one factorial, one factorial is equal to one, as well and for two factorial you will use the formula to show that we'll have one times two which is the last number or the specific number that we are evaluating with so it's equal to two and for three factorial we have one times two times three equal to six and for four factorial it's equal to 24 and for 5 factorial it's, it's equal to 120 and that's what that's how we evaluate factorial notation using this formula so every time you see this exclamation point you should be able to perform the operation just like what I have showed you so if you are interested to know what 12 factorial is so it's 12 factorial, which means 12 times 11 times 10 times 9 all the way through 1. It's simply equal to 479,001,600. And that's how we perform the factorial notation in some mathematical problems. Now let's use the factorial notation and evaluate the following expressions. So for letter A, I have 8 factorial all over 2 factorial times 6 factorial. Now to evaluate or to simplify your expression, you just need to expand each term by its factorial notation. So for 8 factorial, you have 8 times 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And for 2 factorial, you have 2 times 1. Evaluate 6 factorial, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Now, there are two ways on how to evaluate factorial. One, you can use your calculator, and two, you can just cancel some of the terms that are, that are alike. So for this particular example, I'm not going to use the calculator. I'm just going to cancel 1 and 1, 2 and 2, 3, 3, 4, 4, 5, 5, 6, 6. So you're basically canceling all these numbers because all of them will turn into 1. And you are left with 8 times 7 all over 2 times 1. And 8 times 7 all over 2 is equal to 28. And that's how you evaluate factorial notation similar to example letter A. Now for example letter B, I'm going to be working with 2 factorial times 6 factorial all over 3 factorial times 5 factorial. Now to evaluate the expression, expand each number using the factorial operation. So 2 times 1, 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, 3 factorial and 5 factorial. Now start canceling your terms right here. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 will be canceled. 2 and 2 will also be canceled. I'm le left with 1 times 6 all over 3 times 1, which gives me 6 over 3, and 6 over 3 is equal to 2.